so we have Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising. Uh, love and relationship tarot reading, uh, January 6th to January 12th, 2020 on our hands. And uh, in case you guys are uh, interested in a personal reading with me, you can uh, check the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a, a link to my website. So that being said, uh, moving into the spread straight away here. The first card, which is standing as a, a topic for a liberal love and relationship um, week, that is going to be the Page of Wands, followed by the next one here, which is the energies supporting the topic. Uh, we do have the Seven of Cups, followed by the next one, uh, which is the challenges uh, that you need to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the Star card. Afterwards, it is the gifts and the blessings uh, that uh, you are going to enjoy throughout the week. We do have the Knight of Wands. Afterwards, it is uh, the how people are seeing you, how your person of interest is seeing you, how your partner in uh, relationship is seeing you, your lover, and so on and so forth. We do have the Hermit. Afterwards, is going to be what is going to help your long-term love and relationship goal. That is going to be the Four of Pentacles. Uh, the next one it is what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship. Now, we do have a very thin line in between these two guys. We do have the Ten of Wands. And the last one is going to be the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you, Libra. That is going to be the um, Justice card. So, uh, going into the first two here, we do have the Page of Wands and um, the Seven of Cups. So, the topic itself is going to be a person. It could be your person of interest, your lover, you know, uh, someone that is going to come around. It's going to be different for uh, the different Libras because you guys are in a different situations. But the thing is that this person, I don't know how to describe it. Well, let's say that they are very energetic and it looks like that nothing really can, can catch up with them in a sense of that if you reject them, that's all right. If you try to do something with them or if you try to make something with them, that's all right as well. It's kind of like they seem a little bit indifferent to the situation, to you and to the whole thing that is forming in between you two. And uh, that's what the impression they give to everybody around. But that's not what they truly are. Now, the Page of Wands, it's while seeming, while is trying to present themselves as a, a very strong individual, that the life is just in front of them and that they're open for any kind of options available and it, it, they don't care in general. They are very fragile from within. Now, nonetheless, uh, the Page of Wands are people who does not like to be told. They kind of feel very oppressed if they have to follow certain rules, uh, stipulations, and in generally certain aspects of lifestyle that is. So, for example, you are in a relationship with someone and everything that you try them to do or ask them to do aggravates them and irritates them. It is because they don't want anybody to tell them what to do. They, they just want to do what makes them happy. That's the whole point of, the, um, of their behavior. And with the Seven of Cups, uh, it's uh, the energies that are supporting the, um, the situation. That thing is a bit neglected. What I mean is that we are having here the most trivial type of relationship where people does not see the pros and the cons in it. So what I'm trying to say, it is that say you uh, have a person of interest, which is the page of wands, and you, you both are not seeing uh, the negative aspects of your behavior um, straight away. So you are going to find for the, find them moving further into the future where maybe a little bit too late for that, all right? So this whole thing, these two cards are kind of saying that in the grand scheme of things that you are going to be quite amazed 
by the presence of someone. It could be your current partner once again, it could be a new suitor, it could be your person of interest, but there is more to that. The things are going deeper than that. So do not make any kind of irrational decisions. That's the whole point. Because the energy is poised that you may find yourself at the end of the day a bit disappointed of what you thought is going to be and what in reality is. However, the disappointment of the Seven of Cups, it's a bouncing back kind of a disappointment. So it's not going to be something irreversible or uh, kind of like unredeemable, irredeemable, probably. So the next card, it is the uh, challenges that you need to overcome here. And what we talked about, it is that uh, someone that you thought is perfect is going to turn out not to be as perfect as you thought. And the challenge is going to be despite that you are going to find flaws into this person, into their behavior, you know, into what they are offering to you and these kind of stuff yet to give them a chance. That is going to be the challenge itself to kind of allow the unfolding love in between you two to take place and to develop even further. The challenge is going to be to have an objective standards and objective, expect objective expectations as well. The challenge is is going to be to see beyond your um, level of um, uh, criteria, expectations and kind of like beyond your bar that you have set for yourself and for that relationship after you found out that actually this person is not what you thought they are. Okay, And to a certain extent, it's their, it's their fault as well. It's because they tried they are trying to present themselves as someone that they are not. Now, the next card here, it is of the gifts and the blessings that uh, you are going to enjoy throughout the week. And we do have the Knight of Cups. Now, this isn't the person in that particular narrative. That is uh, the gift and the blessing of the future unknown. What I mean, it is that even though you're going to find out that, you know, your future endeavor with that person isn't exactly as you have imagined it to be, there is still yet time, room, means, and as well, dedication and, and willingness, if you will, to make it so it is satisfiable for both of you. So at the end of the day, the gift and the blessing here for you throughout this week it is that you still can meet... Um, a certain, it's not expectation, but a threshold of happiness, but is going to be based entirely on your performance. Now with the Knights of uh, Cups, uh, how can I say it? Um, things does not be granted, things are not granted, things are not gifted, things needs to be worked for, things needs to be deserved for. And therefore the universe here with those gifts and blessings are giving you the opportunity to um, get what you deserve in terms of love and relationship. So if you love someone, okay, you have to do something about it. If you don't love someone, that's the same thing. If you want something, you also need to do something about it instead of expecting that it's gonna be given to you on its own accord. But the whole point of the gift and the blessing it is that you're gonna have the chance to win it. That's the whole point of uh, this card. Another thing with uh, the Knights of Cups here, it is that more or less whatever you are striving for at the end of the day is going to turn out to be uh, a portion of a dream of yours, okay? Not the, the entire dream, but a portion of it. And I don't want, I don't want to say it that way. It may seem a little bit irrational from my standpoint to say, but this reading here points that um, even though it may not be a dream of yours, uh, it may not turn out at the very first glance to be a dream of yours once that person reveals their uh, true nature in front of you, it will become a dream of yours if you give it a chance, okay? Because the star card, especially into the negative... Um, position as a challenge as well points that maybe your expectations are a little, are a little bit celluloid. So in other words, no one can meet them. So how people are seeing you here um, throughout this week in terms of love and relationship? We do have the hermit. So people are seeing you a bit baffled 
by the situation and uh, how do you say to a person who is contemplating so people were seeing you that way as is someone who is contemplating what to do and should give a chance or should not give a chance fully aware of once making the decision there is no turning back that is the thing with the hermit so people are going to see you a little bit uh how can i say detached from the rest of the world and that's okay uh, because people are going to understand the full extent of the seriousness of the situation that you are finding yourself at and uh, from another standpoint as well with a hermit card people are going to see you as a someone who is trying to find out the true meaning of love as well their personal true meaning of love so what can help your long-term love and relationship goal here we do have the four of pentacles and four of pentacles it's uh, kind of speaks for itself here it does point that you need to do whatever you can in order to ensure a secure future uh for you and that person uh page of wants because i will say it that way because once you start dating with the page of wands at the very initial date you thought that that person is perfect for you and now you see that that's not the case but the thing is that no one is perfect for anybody and that is this reading it's a, a, a solo example that the differences are not supposed to drift two people apart the differences are supposed to make you special for one another and that is the solo purpose of the four of pentacles here that you need to secure a um, ensure a, a secure future for both of you now the very least that needs to be friendship because probably further going down the road in the future that page of wands is going to play a, a big role in your life now the other card here it is um what uh, is going to hurt your love to a long-term love and relationship goal that is going to be the ten of wands and ten of wands here says a couple of things first one having an unyielding criteria and um, obligations toward the uh, page of wands so in other words if they don't meet certain criteria they have no chance whatsoever and the other thing about the ten of wands it is uh, trying to enslave that person kind of like expecting them to do exactly as they have been told which is never going to happen because the page of wands hates doing it it may do it for a certain portion of time but that thing kind of like uh, uh builds up in them you know this this please discontent builds up in them in and the, uh, at a certain point they become a um a cauldron of uh, of discontent and at the end of the day, we do have the guidance for you, Libra, and that is going to be the Justice card. So the Justice card here uh, urges you to be um, objective in a sense of that you need to discern the um, reality from the fairy tale because there is no such thing as lived happily ever after. Every a relationship has their has its problems every marriage has its problems you know every interactions has its problems as well but the justice here points that should you people take their um obligations toward one another seriously and should you people tackle with their responsibilities reciprocal responsibilities into one relationship always and i mean always a, a solution to the current problems that they have in between each other can be found at the end of the day and at the end of the day everybody is gonna get what they deserve you hope for celluloid expectations you do have celluloid expectations well you're gonna have a celluloid relationship you do have an, an objective and real expectations you're gonna have objective and real relationship so yeah, that being said, this was your love and relationship tarot reading for this week, January 6th to January 12th, 2020. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website. Hope uh, that we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.